What's going on here could bring a new dimension to the fight against COVID-19. Researchers are developing a new vaccine that will focus on saliva rather than the bloodstream. And they're saying it will be cheap to produce and won't need to be kept at low temperature. This is a global vaccine and it's potentially a vaccine for all. In particular, they hope to bring a solution to parts of the developing world, remote countries and places with extreme temperatures. There'll be no need for refrigeration and it will be a vaccine that's easier to transport, simple to use and cheaper to buy. What's going on here is very different. For a start, the vaccine comes in the form of a nasal spray. It's aimed at inducing antibodies which will protect the person and also stop the virus from spreading, all in one powerful blow. The man behind it believes the immune responses will be much bigger than in the present vaccines. It's an entirely new way of making a vaccine um, and we've already done work in animals in mice, and we've shown that we can induce immune responses. Importantly, we can induce these uh, mucosal immune responses if we give the vaccine to these mice into the nose rather than as an injection. The Bristol project is one of many. Globally, the World Health Organization puts the figure at more than 200, a second generation of vaccines. Another UK project is hoping for a breakthrough with protection against a much broader range of COVID variants. Researchers in Nottingham University and developers ScanCell say the vaccine doesn't just target the spike protein on the surface of the coronavirus. It also concentrates on another area known as the N protein. The vaccine is being prepared for medical trials by manufacturers at Keele University in Staffordshire. It's one of the makers of the AstraZeneca vaccine and it's now managing six different projects. We seem to be working in a, a consortium environment, so it's not just ourselves, there are a number of other organisations, competitors as well. We're all working in conjunction trying to solve the same problem effectively and that continues whether it's first generation, second generation or even third generation. Where we have a strong colour change would indicate a positive reaction. Back in Bristol, their project may be some way of preparing for medical trials, but if and when it's proven to be safe, it could take Covid vaccines to another level. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Bristol.